Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Amna Hussain, board certified pediatrician, board certified lactation consultant, and mom. As a pediatrician and mom, I have seen a fair share of diaper rashes. So today we're gonna to be talking about the most common causes of diaper rashes. Now I know pictures are worth a thousand words, but I am not trying to get blacklisted by YouTube, so this video will not include pictures of baby's heinies, but this will have some good education and knowledge for you to bear aware of for the most common causes. So one of the most common causes I frequently see are actually urine or stool, but let me explain why. So prolonged contact with urine and stool can cause irritation of the baby's skin and even skin breakdown because urine and stool both possess acidic qualities. Prolonged contact can cause irritation. So what you're gonna want is to get an absorbent diaper that not only grabs hold of that urine or stool but really wicks it away from being in contact with the skin. Another cause I commonly see are products, a reaction to different products that people might be using. Now, I will say that the parenting industry and the baby marketing industry is smart. They use a lot of terms and tactics that really hit home to what parents want. Natural, organic, plant-based, botanical. All of those items sound really nice, but you know what else is plant-based and natural? Poison ivy, and we don't rub that on our child's diaper areas. So oftentimes, I find products that have scents and fragrances can often cause a diaper rash as well. Not only will these products like lotions and oils cause it, but you can even see it sometimes with diapers, you can see it with detergents, you can see it with fabric softeners. So make sure that you keep track of when you change these items around in your house. If you switch from one lotion to another lotion and your child gets a rash shortly thereafter, likely that's gonna be the one that's the culprit for the diaper rash. All right, another common cause is bacteria or yeast. Bacteria and yeast are two totally different organisms. Yeast are fungus, bacteria are of course bacteria. However, both love warm, moist environments. So oftentimes you might see these causing diaper rashes. Your pediatrician might prescribe an antifungal cream if it's a yeast infection or an antibacterial cream if it's a bacterial infection. You may often see these rashes in the folds or in those rolls that babies have in the diaper area, but be careful because Again, if you don't treat these, it can cause a lot of skin breakdown, but it can also cause children to become very sick. All right, another common cause I see is rubbing or chafing. That's why finding the perfect diaper fit makes a big difference, and even once you have the perfect fit, to make sure the diaper's on the proper way. For example, if the leg cuffs or the fringes around the inner thighs are tucking inward or perhaps too tight, then again, it can cause chafing, and I can see a rash commonly in these areas. And lastly, a common cause is introduction of new foods. Changes in your baby's diet can increase the frequency of stools and sometimes even decrease the frequency of stools. If it does increase the frequency of stools, make sure you're on top of that and being able to change the diaper frequently as well. Don't be alarmed if the stools do change. You can always run it by your pediatrician, but be aware that this can also be a cause that children do have to work through. It doesn't mean you necessarily have to stop giving them that food, but you should be aware that you might see a diaper rash after introduction of new foods. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Make sure you hit subscribe and the thumbs up button if this was helpful. Tune in next week for more videos. Thanks.